Hello boys and girls of Bury and Hope. Welcome to my first effort of doing a, 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 you, being, a being a YouTuber, being a vlog, I'm not sure. My first effort of talking to you through a camera because I can't see your face. But I thought it'd be really useful. I've been doing the daily diaries and I thought it'd be really useful, maybe not useful, but it might be fun to actually make some videos and to show you what I've been up to and to give you some ideas and be able to speak to you a bit like it's an assembly or something. So I hope you're all really well. I'm going to cut in a minute, if I can figure this out, to a clip of me at the beach this morning because I want to talk to you about, I've got a little bit of a job for you to do. I'll show you something. I nearly fell off my chair. Oh. I want to talk about these this morning. Um, but you'll see that in a minute. One thought for the day to keep you thinking. Lots of people I've been talking to, because we've been in, 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 in isolation, we've been away from school for a week now. And I've been talking to a lot of people on the phone and at home and wherever else, and a lot of people tend to be focused on how long this is gonna last. How long are we gonna be at home for? How long is school gonna be off for? What I want, my thought for the day is, I want us to stop thinking about how long it's gonna be for. I want us to just continue to think about what we're doing now, at this moment, this day, what we can use this time for. Remember we said that we never get given extra time for anything usually, and all of a sudden we've got all this time. So instead of thinking about when it's gonna end, think about what you're gonna to do today and what you're gonna do right now. And I find that really useful, because the fact is, we don't know when it's gonna end and we have absolutely zero control over when this might all finish. And we desperately wanna be back at school altogether. I'm sure you do, I know I do. Um, but let's think about all the great things we can do today. And I've got one idea, which you'll see in a minute, of something that you can think about that maybe might help the world today. I'll see you soon. Wait, 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 wait. One thing I forgot to say, so the idea is I'm gonna to try to upload this onto YouTube if I can figure this out. Um, but, so, so that's where, because I can't figure out how else I can put sort of longer videos together. But, please, 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 please get your parents' permission to use YouTube first and maybe watch it with them. And I'm going to turn the comments off so no one can comment on the videos. And I'll email the link out to the channel so you can watch it. If you want to say, if you want to reply to anything I've said or you've got an idea about anything I talk about, just write me an email on Glow as you normally would. Brilliant. Morning kids. So, this is my beach. I hope you can see me all right. Uh, and this is day number six of doing the clean and uh, there are no more plastic bottles on this beach. Well, if there are plastic bottles on this beach, I can't find them. So it's about quarter to seven in the morning and it's just about to start raining, which is great. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about these. So loads of what I've picked up today is all this stuff. This is the polystyrene stuff. You know when you buy a toy or when you buy something that might be a little bit breakable? And this is all packed in there to stop things bumping around and protect things. And it's really super, super crumbly and soft. So it just breaks into tiny bits and it's scattered everywhere along this beach. So I thought, if you're feeling bored today, and it's rainy, why don't you try to think for me of a better solution than sticking that polystyrene stuff inside a box to protect things? Is there a more environmentally friendly way, a way that's better for the beaches and better for the oceans, for us to pack stuff up? Because if you think about it, if you're a fish, and I know you're not, but if you were a fish, and this is all crumbling away in the ocean. I don't know if you can see, it's got little bits coming out of it everywhere. 
then you're going to think that's food and you're going to eat it and it can't be good for you. So can you think up a better way for us to package these? I'll speak to you soon.